this is Mr. Mike and today I want to talk to you about comparatives and superlatives. In this, list, in this lesson sorry, we're going to review comparative and superlative forms. We're going to look at a few examples and talk about the use of such forms. We will end the lesson with some exercises uh, on our digital classroom so you can quickly check your understanding. By the end of the lesson, you will have a clear idea of how to use adjectives and adverbs to compare things or people to each other or to whole groups. So hang on and here we go. So you should all know about the idea or the notion of using adjectives to describe things or people or animals say. Uh, a good example of this is shown on the screen where it says this tree is tall. Oh wow. It looks tall, so tall is the adjective. Uh, which tree? This tree is the subject, and it is tall. Great. What about if you want to compare one tree to another tree? So we use the adjective tall, and we say the first tree, yeah, is taller than the second one. So here you can see this adjective tall, uh, we just add a suffix to the end, an er, we use than, and it's taller than the second one. So we use the comparative form plus than to compare something or someone with another thing or another person. It's a one-to-one -one comparison, okay guys? Great. Um, oh, this is a nice example. Uh, short adjectives, young. Okay, well, yeah, she's younger than him. And, oh yeah, he's shorter than her. Here we've got young with the, um, uh, the suffix, sorry, er, than him. And it's comparing her to him. And the adjective short with er shorter than her. It's comparing him. To her. And obviously, yeah, things are obvious, guys. So, what about long adjectives? Interesting. <clears throat> Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's quite a bit of syllables there, so that's a long adjective. We actually use more interesting than that book. So, this book, which is a Harry Potter book, is more interesting than that book, which is a grammar book. I think you all agree. This book's more interesting than that book. Again, for long adjectives, we use more than the other, you know, that book. Great. So, overall, short adjectives, we've got the adjective old. Become older. Becomes older, sorry. Cheap becomes cheaper. Okay, what about here? We've got big becomes bigger. See how we've added another G here. So uh, we've got a consonant, vowel consonant. And because it's the primary stress point is I, it's big, we have to add another G and an ER. And dirty, which is a Y, we drop the Y and it becomes dirtier. The long adjectives, I think they're more easier uh, because we got, you know, more interesting and more expensive and more useful. So, there you go. Okay, what about adver adverbs? In this case, uh, this adverb is describing how we work. I can work faster than you. Wow, good on you. Today the choir sang more beautifully than yesterday. Again, we've got the adverb faster. Uh, and obviously we've got the adverb more beautifully. Okay, what about the superlative form? We'll use the superlative if the superlative form to compare something with two or more objects. Uh, again, we've got the short adjectives. The old uh, old as an adjective becomes oldest, cheap, cheapest, big, biggest. Note the double G in biggest. Dirty becomes dirtiest. With, we drop the Y and we put an I, E-S-T. And the long adjectives become most interesting, most expensive, and most useful. So the superlative form, we're comparing one 
office to a whole building of offices. And obviously, if you can see this guy, he's not very, well, he's quite happy, but I don't think he's very comfortable. It's the smallest office in the building. Great, let's move along then. Uh, that's the most useful gadget of all. It's the most useful of all. Again, uh, the smallest office in the building. It's comparing one office to the rest of the building of offices, or the office building, sorry. And the most gadget of all other gadgets that someone may have. Great. As with other grammar forms or grammar rules, we always, well, we can't really say always, we do have some irregular, compar irregular comparatives and superlatives. Um, we've got the adjective good, uh, adverb well, becomes better, the best. Uh, bad, badly, in the comparative form becomes worse, and in the superlative form becomes the worst. Far farther and further. Uh, really quickly guys, the quick and dirty tip is to use uh, um, farther for physical distance and further for, I would say, metaphorical distance, not really physical. Uh, and in the superlative case, the farthest, the furthest. Great. Uh, little, less, the least. I would say you would have to learn these Maybe write them down a couple of times uh, because they're going to be keep uh, popping up every so often. Okay, great. Just one more type of comparison with the ad adjective adverb as. We use this type uh, to compare two people, animals, things. Okay, so let's go straight into some examples. My dog is as big as yours. Well. Wow. They are the same size, though. Mark plays tennis as well as Robert. Great. They play, they play equally well. My suitcase isn't as heavy as yours. Here we have the negative form isn't, uh, which means my suitcase is lighter than yours. And we are working as hard as we can, so we can't work any harder. Because it's as hard as we can. Hopefully that cl clarifies this issue. The as adjective, adverb and as. Uh, I want to log on to our digital classroom now. So I want you guys... This video, uh, sorry, is, um, is made for my senior C students. So it will be good to log on to you, your digital classroom. Click on the senior C. <clears throat> Okay, so you need your password and your username. Hopefully you know your password and username. If you don't, uh, come by our school. Uh, email us, drop us a line. Um, our site is um, www.kedu.gr. And ask me, Mr. Mike, or even ask us to the school secretary for your username and password. So we're going to log in here. Let's keep on going. Sorry about the delay. Okay, we've entered our digital classroom. I've gotten right into the grammar section. Um, okay, so today's lesson uh, is about comparisons, uh, using the comparative and the superlative. I'm not going to do many exercises. I'm just going to do one, maybe two, because I want you guys to go in there and film yourselves. Okay, so... This guy worked last year, but how did he work? Did he work, uh, uh, okay, uh, he worked uh, very harder than last year? Hmm, hard than last year, very hard last year, sorry, or hardly? So, oh, you can see I've already checked it. That's good on me, yeah? Didn't give you much time to really think about it. So he worked very hard last year. He's got more money with him than you have, as you have, from you have. Well, more money than you have. As you can see, they're not easy. I've made them just a touch tricky. But you know the drill. Go down, do the, the quiz, the exercises, press on next. 
uh, make sure you've answered all questions, not like me. Submit all and finish, submit all and finish and see how you went. And obviously, if you had any problems, we'll discuss it in next in the next class. So great, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, hopefully you understood uh, about the use of uh, the comparative and the, the superlative forms. Um, and how we use adjectives and adverbs to compare things or people to each other or to whole groups. And if you have any questions, just bring them to our class. Thanks again.